We've got storms blowing up and uh, I've got to take a trip to the uh, supply house. But I wanted to show you something uh, and my video was titled, Hey Bilstein, don't blow smoke up my ass. Um, I know you guys uh, misunderstood my communications dearly with uh, Summit Racing, but Summit has been an ally of me since I am a real race car driver and builder. I'm actually a crew chief. Now do you see that bushing? I'm only hand tightening it, okay? I know better with some of this stuff, and there's really no torque spec. But you see that bushing cracking and mushrooming like that? There's no way in hell that should be happening. If you use a urethane bushing, you can actually run them on with an air gun, and they don't break, okay? So, now, let's get back to Summit Racing, as well as Bill Steen. Let me move this out from underneath my paws. I don't know where Orange Cat is, if he's going to make an appearance. Listen, folks. I've been at this since I'm a kid. I was raised in a speed shop. Nobody tells me the moon's blue when it's green, or vice versa, okay? I'm going to tell you something. This should not be happening in this industry. Now, a lot of people don't remember how the Corvair was uh, a rear-engine car, and they were, they were saying it was a failed design. Uh, no, okay? Not only did the Corvair suffer from uh, cheaply made factory shocks that were being made already overseas, I believe in Korea, in South Korea already, uh, back in the 1960s. As the Korean War ended, uh, manufacturing, we gave, uh, it's called Throma Bone. In other words, your, your country, your nation building, you know, that globalist shit. That started already, already all the way back then with the big three, because it spread not only to the Ford Galaxy, it spread to the Pontiac, uh, the Pontiac line, the Tempest. As a matter of fact, Pontiac was blamed for ill-handling cars all along when it was the shock absorbers. They either had too much resistance or too little, and that's why a lot of places went to uh, ergonomic uh, suspensions instead of a kinetic uh, type of suspension. And Pontiac then went to those uh, rear coil independent uh, rear ends to kind of stabilize the cars, but a lot of it was shock absorbers, people. And a lot of people don't understand that because uh, GMC particularly, because I owned one and I actually drove one for uh, Westinghouse uh, in my younger day, is the Brigadier and the Mac R models. They were famous for throwing shocks all the time. Well, why was that? Well, now you're seeing why that was. Okay, so let's get back to Summit. I sell Summit parts. I sell those to my customer. I'm not just a consumer, because a lot of people, you're taking this like I am the backyard mechanic. Well, that's what I'm doing now for my retirement. But that's why I'm not working somewhere. It's because guys like me were getting blamed for bad parts, and or they want us to work once they find out what you can do 24 hours a day, seven days a week, bullshit on that. Um, okay, those days are over. Summit was an ally. They were a sponsor at one time with my stock car, as was Redner's Warehouse Markets, uh, Moroso. I, I had a couple names, and believe me, they gave you freaking dribbles. It, it became more of a prestige sport. And for, like I said, forgive this wind. We do have storms blowing up, okay? So I'm, I'm not sure whether it's affecting the camera or the audio. But get my point. I sell their parts. Bill Steen told me, hello, yeah, Bill Steen. I told him the problem I had with the shocks. Uh, bushings aren't covered. Click. Oh, okay. Well, and a lot of other people uh, that were responding on my channel, thank you. Because, you know what, Bill Steen? I'm not going to buy your overpriced shit. I'm going to buy the cheap Chinese shit. Because I'm not going to go through this. And I'm also going to put on the customer's invoice. No warranty. I'm not honoring your warranty. Because, you see, people think I, because I installed a Bill Steen shock and recommended your Bill Steen shock, that I represent. I am not a, a distributor for Bilstein. For Summit, I am. And that's why I don't have my channel monetized. I mean, there, there are companies I stand behind. One of them is like uh, Martin Sonor Products, the paint products. Uh, I stand behind them. Rust-Oleum Paint Products, uh, Woolwax, uh, RPA. There are some products where I stand behind them and I will represent them because I know the product quality really hasn't gone downhill, okay? I bought old paint at Tractor Supply, and it was Rust-Oleum product. They didn't tell me to, to, to take it back to Tractor Supply. 
Rust Oleum said, How many cans did you buy? I said, Well, just two. They sent me a whole case. I have no problem representing Rust Oleum, uh, not to mention some of their products over the years have improved. Uh, and that's where you get your, uh, that's where I want. And I would want to put their name on my race car or my hot rod. Uh, even though I, I'm not a big fan of uh, decals all over than other than the FJB uh, on my trucks. So people misunderstood that I consider Summit an ally, just like I would advocate, advocate for my customer. I have had customers that have had parts fail. And even though I did not install that part on their car, maybe somebody else did, <coughs> <clears throat> I will advocate for that customer. I will call that company and I will chew them a new ass because this is becoming ridiculous. That bushing is being hand tightened with a wrench and it's splitting apart. Now what more do I have to tell people other than uh, don't piss down my back and tell me it's raining, okay? There's too many coincidences and there's too many uh, parties ducking their responsibility, Bill Steen, okay? Because like I said, I'm going to tell my, my uh, customers, okay, go buy something cheap because your product ain't worth it. It's just as bad. The shock itself, I think the shock is fine. I think the shock is, it, it didn't lose its air, its, it's gas, like, not, like a, a, not like a rough country. Uh, a year later, they're shot totally. I mean, they don't even hold gas, let alone putting the bushings on. I, I, uh, I took rough country off just like I'm going to take Bilstein. And I'm going to tell people, if you want to go buy your own shocks, I'm not going to represent those companies. I'm not even going to try to make a dime off of selling somebody uh, an overpriced junk shock. So that's where it goes in this industry. And that's, why, like I said, I'm going to title my, my video, Bill Steen, don't blow smoke up my ass. Here is the evidence. Or maybe I should title it, here's the evidence, Bill Steen, don't blow smoke up my ass. Your bushings are bad, okay? Those aren't old shocks. They're not crusty. They're not full of mud and dirt. Okay, basically they got dust because that truck sat. It was turning into a dust ball. The frame was rotted out. He wasn't really driving that thing. And I don't blame my customer. My customer is an innocent victim of this stuff, and I'm advocating for him. Uh, whether he knows it or not, I, 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 like I said, I got to go down this guy's. Schmitty has not got back to me with this metal and stuff I need. So I might call him tomorrow or whatever and just tell him, you know, I need this. I, I need half my paycheck, so I got to bill. I got to pay. And on the other hand, I'm fixing his shock issue, but as I said, we had this bushing issue and the NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board, got involved and they made it that those bushings were then bonded or embossed, okay? They use a bunch of technical names just like the Joe Biden administration at all, just about main, main, they mean the same thing. But again, Monroe and some of the other companies, TRW, in the early 60s, they tried to go overseas, and they just could not make the product to the American standard. And it's, it's just about been that way with every every product that has gone offshore. I mean, take a, a bicycle. They're basically a throwaway item. They break. Walmart doesn't even have a person over there that can put a fucking bicycle together right. And they, they, you take your car there to go, you go get your oil changed. You, you know what I mean? That's why I told you, learn to do more on your own vehicle for yourself and your family because it's safer. And I'm sure, you know what I mean, I, I don't advocate getting drunk, but if you want to have a beer, relax on the weekend, make sure you go over the work that you did. And that's where I praise YouTube, other, other than they doinked one of my comments again. They didn't like my, uh, uh, about Club Biden over the head like a baby seal type of comment. You know what, YouTube, get over it. And you guys that don't like the F-bomb, you guys don't curse, come here, let me slam your fingers in my truck door once or twice, or maybe hand you a hot bolt right from the torch. You know, uh, it, it's... Uh, it's just like that. It's very frustrating doing this, and, and, and I think uh, when I do curse, it, le it relieves a little of the uh, curse that's on me with this stuff. I hate to do that in a video, I, I, and I, I don't, there, there are some guys that can get away with it. They're funny and witty with it, and maybe that's what people don't like with me, because I don't mean it to be funny or witty. Um, it's just a product of what I'm working with. But like I said, it's especially when a company lies to me and I have two master's degrees, one's an engineering degree, the other's in metallurgy, I know what some of this stuff is made out of. And that's basically a crap plastic nylon bushing. And that's what happened to this Ford truck right here. That's what happened to her with that N3 steering stabilizer is those bushings in a matter of two weeks turned into silly putty. And that thing, I was wondering what was thumping around on, under my truck. And that was like my... Uh, I had two customers, it happened with Rancho and it happened with Rough Country. The most memorable was when Scott brought his pickup back, I only put the shocks on 
I think it was the following July. It was it, it was a little little earlier than August. And with it with it, April's time, he came here. Something was clunking underneath the truck, and those, these were Rancho shocks. The bushings, just like what happened with the, the rough country, they turned into silly putty. So. I bought those shocks through A and A because there was an immediate need. I had just put rocker on it, and he wanted the truck back ASAP. And I said, "Well, if you want to pay a little more instead of me going to Summit and waiting, I'll go right down to A and A. They have them in stock, or they can get them overnight. Uh, I think it was overnight or whatever. But I had the shocks like the next day, and they were on the next day. And like I said, seven months later, he brings the goddamn thing back. But A and A stood up for me with the Rancho product. They gave me my money back, and guess what? I put on his truck was the Bilstein." I told him to go to Bilstein, but no more, no more. I'll tell him to go to you, go on, go on Flea Bay or Scamazon and get a set of those goddamn shocks because I'm not going to pay that kind of money for a Bilstein product and they're going to shove it up my ass with their lies. Okay, I'm showing you. I'm hand. That that shock is not even tight on that vehicle and that bushing is splitting out. Now tell me this is not a faulty product. You tell me in the comments whether that's my work that I split that bushing. You're watching it split as I'm tightening it. You didn't see a crack on that as I started tight. Well, it was starting to crack, but then that bushing's not even tight in the frame. I can't leave that goddamn thing loose, and I don't have another solution. I've got to crack the bushing, and I got to say hail, hail Mary, and I got to. I'm gonna tell the customer to watch my videos on this, how I represent myself, because like I said, maybe I could do this a little more calm, but at times the customer thinks it's a reflection of your skill is why this is happening. Like I did something wrong, like uh, the N3 steering stabilizer, rough, uh, rough Country told me, D you didn't read the torque spec? And that's when I made the Rough Country video, they sent you a Mickey Mouse sketch of how that goddamn thing went on the truck. There was no torque specs, no, you know, don't blow, like I said, don't blow smoke up my ass. They always think you're some kind of stupid kid instead of a 62 year old man that uh, was a flight wing commander in a United States Navy warship and an engineer, Jesus. Titty fucker, don't tell me I don't know what I'm doing. If there's a torque spec on there, I'm going to read it. I, I necessarily read the directions. I, I have videos illustrating that. You might think you know that product, and you might have worked with it before, but maybe it changed. Maybe there's another recommendation. So you got to tear all that shit out of there with that lawyer, you know, just tear the pages up. And normally there's one, one or two pages of pertinent information and seven or eight pages of uh, for stupid people not to do this and not to do that. So that's my video. But Rough Country pulled it on me about a fantasy torque spec for their N3, you know, come on, people. I put urethane bushings on it. The shocks are fine, just like this. Did they make a urethane bushing for this? If somebody knows if they do, save me the work up there on the phone because Summit told me they don't make bushings for it. You have to just get another shock. But Bill Steen told me on the phone that I could get new bushings for that from Summit. Okay? I know they do make shock bushings. Summit... As I said, they're not hiring the quality. Uh, they're hiring those genies from the bottom of the beer bottle. You know, the same guys that are that make a uh, black flashlight for you to lose. Thanks for watching my videos. I'm going to get this uploaded, and hopefully, a few people understood that my part with Summit was to ask Summit to advocate for me as a consumer of their products. And I do that with people here, and I didn't even install the product. They're hauling some real heavy stuff through here. I don't know where it's going, but uh, there's some really massive rigs going through here. Okay, folks, that wraps up my video, and that was my mission with Summit, so people were perfectly clear on... Uh, Eric was, you know, he was annoyed that I was asking him to do something, uh, but Eric, do you want me to buy parts from you and Summit? Okay, I did appreciate you finally breaking down, and Bill Steen did call me, so I do appreciate Eric's efforts at Summit. You see, that's another thing is I don't make up BS stories. I contacted Eric. Eric was a little hesitant, not really understanding my point, but he didn't care. He did his job that I asked him to do. That makes me buy parts in the future from Summit because at least that man advocated for me like I do my customer. So hopefully people understand that, okay, in my closing. Thank you.